news seems positive and and it, it was much different maybe uh, January February those numbers were were not quite so high I would assume yes you're right I mean, we didn't see as much activity um, I think you know middle of this time last year we still had some people calling you know a lot of projects are still out there as far as businesses looking to come into the area um, of course I look work a lot more you know with the industrial and distribution uh, manufacturing type businesses um, but they are still um, the projects are still out there but no one's really acting on them yet it's it's kind of everybody's just waiting to see who's going to pull the trigger first. Mm -hmm. um, but everyone's still focusing in on our area because we are um, in such a, a good e economy here in Middle Tennessee. You know, um, I think um, maybe the, the last time we had a show w was the day after or the day of uh, the, the Nissan announcement of the electric car and, and that mm -hmm. they were um, going to add jobs here in the, uh, the Smyrna area. D does news like that kind of spur a community, uh, you know, to just the positive news if we can get the information out there that you know homes are selling there are more people moving in that news can help get you out of uh, a slump I would assume definitely I think there's a lot of things that um, make us attractive we continue to try to promote our area we never stopped marketing Rutherford County you know for businesses to move here we have a lot of great things to talk about you know even though we are we have Nissan they have done the buyouts and things of that nature we have suppliers that supply Nissan supply and you know, Saturn and so there's been a little bit of turmoil in that area but we continue to promote the great things that we do have here um, this is a great community to live in you know each of our communities has been ranked by some national magazine or another, some group talking about all the wonderful um, amenities we have for quality of life. We also have an excellent workforce here. Having the largest undergraduate university in the state located right here within our community is a wonderful asset for us. Um, continue to promote all the skilled labor that we do have here in the area. There are people who are looking for jobs. So if a community comes in, you know they can instantly pick up you know on our workforce. Um, one thing that we're focusing on a lot is meeting with the existing businesses that we have in the area encouraging them that if they are going to have to consolidate somewhere to look at coming to Rutherford County and their facility that they currently have here and trying to assist them in doing that and again bringing more job opportunities to our area. Jason, I, I want to ask you about um, the, the Smyrna area and, and having Smyrna, Murfreesboro, Laverne, having three pretty large cities within one county has to be a, a boost to the overall county economy. I, you, you think of, well, even Nashville, they have the metropolitan area, but in Wilson County, you have Lebanon, Mount Juliet is seeing some growth, but still, Bedford County, they have Shelbyville and the outer areas. You see in Rutherford County, tremendous growth in all three big cities, I guess. Very much so. All, all of our uh, municipalities have different uh, different things to offer. It's, it's a good, I guess it positioned Rutherford County very well for, because we're so diverse. Mm -hmm. and, and that diversity brings in different people with different skills and, and, and they begin to call this area home? Yes, very much so. Um, Mike, um, well, let's let's talk to Leo here for just a second. Leo uh, Woodard has, has been on here with us uh, several times in the past, and uh, being in the landscaping business, I'd assume business is pretty hot right now, isn't it's, it? It's going pretty well. Um, you you kind of have a different perspective being uh, a small business owner, and, and we have uh, Jenny here as well, and we'll kind of get her uh, ideas on, on things. But what what is your take on the economic situation? And, and the economic situation of, of Leo's landscaping design. <laughs> My take on the economic situation is uh, it's not as bad as people think it is. Um, economically, things are going very well. In my standpoint, things are going very well. Um, the, the landscaping business is is right now. It's 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 better than people think it is. Uh, I can't see a recession. I can't see. Um, people backing up on things because I'm still constantly getting business mm -hmm. and people are still constantly calling me every day and um, you know I go and I just be riding around in my truck I get calls you know just riding down the street um, uh, with me um, starting a business is really is scary uh, economically you know I was um, pretty much like a man standing out there on his own but I was blessed to go in debt free you know and I've explained that to you before and Mike uh, back me up on all this stuff and he he really taught me and he put me under his wing and he he showed me how to do things uh without going into debt and uh but economically things are going pretty well 
the, being able to do what you did and, and start out debt free is I would I would have to think has to be a, a big plus because you think of our, our graduates who are coming out of college and many of them have so much debt that you know when they when they graduate they've got all these student loans and it takes years and then uh, along comes uh, a family and and it, it kind of seems hard to get out of that sometimes exactly exactly uh, that's Leo Woodard who is, is with us Jenny will we'll bring you into the conversation here as, as well and uh, Gills Ace Hardware I guess has been a, a staple here in the Smyrna area for for how many years? Well, we've been in business since 1975. 75. So, uh, been here for quite some time. Um, and I guess you can compare maybe some some of the downturns in the economy over the past. When you've been in business, you know, up for a longer period of time, you see the ups and downs. And um, just talking to fellow business people, you know, they said, "Well, how's business?" I go, "I'm riding the waves, <laughs> up and down." <laughs> but we've had. Um, so, well, we've had two employees retire, and one person um, went to work with the town of Smyrna. So I have not replaced them. And I'm getting every day a lot of great applicants. And I wished I had some openings, because there are people out there looking for jobs that have wonderful talents. And uh, they've been in maintenance, or um, um, they do things around their house. Another thing I'm finding is a lot of people are trying to do more repairs themselves to save money and um, and fix things up and do things around the house to reduce energy cost and um, we're, we're finding you know that that part of our business is up my commercial part is down a little bit and some of it is related to some of these companies downsizing I don't sell building supplies but some of the companies I've noticed that are down a little bit in their buying is uh, co are companies that have um, that are like property development, excavating companies, um, um, you know, they put the infrastructure in, they um, do a little bit of business with me, and they're, they've cut back, and some companies have had layoffs, and, you know, I'll see a customer in the store, and I go, well, where have you been? Well, we're down to four days, or we're off this week. Some of it is connected with Nissan, because they have gone down a little bit, but I was excited to hear about the new project with the electric cars and n more new jobs and a lot of my business is with the vendors that do business with Nissan. Well and, and I would think as well over those 30 almost 35 I guess 35 years getting close uh, of business that as the town of Smyrna has changed as as more competition for your company moves into a, a larger area you have to consistently change the way you think about business. Well um, you know with the growth in Smyrna it did bring um, our first Lowe's and then our Home Depot and I um, my husband always said this. He said, I think there's enough business for all of us. And um, we're a smaller business and, and um, more personalized service, one-on-one uh, -on -one service. And um, that's what, if you can go to any Ace Hardware store and that's the kind of service you're going to get. It's very personalized. You're greeted at the door. We'll show you how to fix it. We have a lot of people asking a lot of questions these days. Can I fix that myself? Or I've never done that, but I'd like to try to fix that to save some money. And we'll spend time with them and show them how to do it. And they can save some money and say, yeah, you can do this. You know, we'll show you how to do it. That, that's a difference that you're going to get. But but that's a service that you have to offer. I mean, oh, that, that's, yes, that's yeah. an integral part and, and maybe... Um, as important to get people to come in uh, to buy the product from you uh, versus some other location because you can add that personalization to it. Yes, that's. I think people in business, the personal service, you know, that is the first thing. You know, keep the customer in mind and offer that personal service. Like Leo has his individual customers and. Um, you know, you just do the best job you can, and you know you're going to repeat business. And then the word of mouth sounds like Leo's picked up some business with word of mouth, or just you know, people see, oh, look, he he did that. I'm gonna, I want him to do that for me. And, so. and as long as the word of mouth isn't bad mouth, you know, <laughs> that, that usually helps exactly. out some too, doesn't it? Yeah. We're going to continue the conversation and bring Barry Sanders in as well with the uh, Community Christian Day School. But we're going to take a break first, and when we come back, uh, we'll be at the Smyrna Public Library. Our host today. 
for Rutherford Issues. We'll be back after a check of the news with Ron Jordan and these commercial back messages. Back to the conversation here at the uh, Smyrna Public Library as we uh, join you for Rutherford Issues. Brian Barrett, a